Cassidy. Clock is ticking. It's about time. It is about time. 30 minutes until the polls close. Which ridings in Vancouver are you going to be watching? Uh, Vancouver Granville is one of the ones I'm keeping a close eye on. It's a new riding. It's carved up of uh, pre-existing ridings. It's a very interesting one. All the candidates are quite strong in there. NDP has Mira Oric running for them. Right. Uh, the Liberals have Jody Wilson-Raybould running for them. Right. Um, Polls suggest, if you believe them, that Wilson's in the lead, um, which could cause, there could be some vote splitting as well happening, which could allow the conservative candidate, Aaron Broshko, to come up the middle. All right, now that's a riding that's been controversial. Mira Oric was tied to some conflict of interest with the head of Lead Now. Lead Now endorsing Oric to sort of stop Harper in that riding, but they did have some previous political connections. More right. hand gestures for you, Cassidy, <laughs> just like this. What's happening in Surrey? Surrey, a whole bunch of ridings to take, uh, to take a look at. Um, the one that I'm particularly interested in is one with uh, Diane Watts in it, Surrey, White Rock, Cloverdale. Um, this is obviously a big story because it's Diane Watts, star candidate for the Conservatives, likely cabinet, uh, cabinet material if they form government. Um, again, if we believe the polls, though, it's suggested that perhaps she was running second to the Liberal candidate there, Judy Higginbottom, which would be a massive story for so many reasons. Okay, we're going to have a full team of reporters deployed at Diane Watts' headquarters in Surrey. Uh, stay on the province.com for more election night coverage.